In today's episode, I want to talk about Pokemon nests, which are areas where you can find high concentrations of a single species of Pokemon, like the Electabuzz nest from yesterday's episode. I'm going to take you guys to a nest that I found, but in order to do that, I need to go undercover. This should be good. I brought you guys here because this golf course is a Bulbasaur nest, and the first thing that spawned is an Ivysaur. Watch me catch it. A oh, feisty little guy. Hit him with the great throw. See if he likes my hair. Maybe he'll join me. Boom. Does that look like a tulip on my head? So my disguise isn't totally working. I just got told I can't be out here on the course without paying to play. So we're going to head back towards the driving range and see if we can get some Bulbasaurs over there. Okay, there's actually a few Bulbasaur on the map now, and one just spawned right here. I tried to go to AR mode and my game crashed. Let's hope they're still here. Alright, that's one. Let's see how many more we can catch without actually walking onto the course and getting kicked out. Doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to find too many more Bulbasaurs without actually paying to get onto the course. So instead, I'm going to show you guys how you can find nests in your area and try to find another one nearby so I can go check that out. There's a couple different maps that you can use to find nests in your location. I'm going to show you two right now, one that includes worldwide nests, and one that's a little more detailed but only includes information for the Los Angeles area. This is the LA map. If you click around, you can see they've listed nests for all kinds of different Pokemon. Ghastly, Magmar, Dratini, Hitmonchan, Jinx, Bulbasaur, Poliwag. So if you want to check this map out and you live in LA, this is really useful. I'm going to put a link to this in the description along with a link to where you can contribute new nest locations. Now, if you don't live in LA, there's another map you can use, but this one doesn't include as much detail. But you can see that there's Pokemon listed in Australia, the US, and in Europe. So I'm just going to zoom in. Let's go into New Orleans. You can see there's a couple nests listed there. Audubon Park for Squirtles. City Park, you can find Shell there. Looks like down in the French Quarter, there's Hitmonchan, Louis Armstrong Park. Jackson Square, you can find Growlithe. So this map, like I said, not as much detail, but it does cover the entire world. I'll place a link to this one in the description, along with a link to where you can contribute new nest locations for this one as well. So because it's the height of traffic time here in LA, I'm going to go to the nearest nest, which is a Scyther nest, about 10 minutes away from here. So let's go check that out. Okay, obviously this isn't the part, but I wanted a smoothie. Let's go. This is the park, Southgate Park. And there's a lot of people here, so I'm hoping it's not a repeat of last night at the pier and the connectivity issues. So far, it's not looking good. Servers are down, so it looks like no scythers. But it's a beautiful day, so I'm just gonna put the phone away and enjoy it. Okay, I'm in. There's only one Scyther, but there is a Scyther. So I'm gonna see if I can track it down before I leave this park. Scyther's moving up the list. My plan, since we're still in the midst of this three footstep issue, is to just walk along the walking paths in. That's Eradicate and Venonat, which are both lower than the Scyther on my list. So, who knows? All right, there are two Scythers in my nearby list now, but I've got a constant spinning Pokeball of death. So sometimes what happens is Pokemon get stuck in your nearby list and you just have to close the game and reopen it. And if they're still there, then they're really there. If they're gone, then they were never really there to begin with. So let's see what happens. Well, I'm back to this again. So I guess it's really time to leave the park. At least we did confirm that there are some Scyther around. Did you really think the episode was over? I wouldn't leave you guys hanging like that. 
I'm back here at Heritage Park in Irvine, and I'm gonna see if I can find some Bulbasaurs tonight. Fairly successful Bulbasaur session. Wait, sorry, my Time to celebrate with some in and out. All right, guys, it's almost 4 a.m. I'm just finishing up the edit. Um, I know I didn't get to show you a whole lot of nest action, but hopefully you can use those maps to find nests near you. And remember, these maps, as with any community-driven resource, they just get better the more people contribute. So if you know of a nest location, make sure you submit it so that other people can benefit from that information. And there's just one thing I want to clear up. In yesterday's episode, I said that Electabuzz nests are commonly found at theme parks. That's anecdotal information right now. There's not really a lot of strong evidence to support that. So I just want to apologize for saying that. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. And we'll see you in the next episode. Good night. Okay, guys. Okay, so we this just is heard. serious. You know what? You'll see when we get there. That's right. Stay tuned. Awesome to meet you. Yeah, nice you too, man. Dude, it's awesome to see you guys here. Yeah, just uh, that Dragonite was actually I know, just we around just, here. We just missed it. Yeah? We just missed it. You guys it. just missed it? Oh, okay. Juan oh, oh. said it's still here. Juan says it's still it's here. It's still here because I just got it on my radar, so let's see if we can see it. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm frozen. I'm not doing anything.